we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section integral calculus and the problem is on the definite integral as the limit of a sum this problem has appeared in joint entrance examination main held on 27th july 2021 in the shift 1 the problem is the value of limit n tends to infinity of 1 by n into sigma j is equal to 1 to n the quotient 2j minus 1 plus 8n the numerator by the denominator 2j minus 1 plus 4n is equal to we are given the four options option 1 5 plus log of 3 by 2 to the base e option 2 Three plus log of two by three. Option three. One plus log of three by two. Option four. Two minus log of two by three. All the logarithms are to the base e. We now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. So we are given the this summation. Limit n tends to infinity one by n. Sigma j is equal to one to n. The quotient whose numerator is two j minus one plus eight n by the denominator is two j minus one plus four n. So let's first of all take this summation. Take this summation. Expand it. When you expand it, the first term is j is one. It will give you. It will give you one plus eight n by one plus four n. When j is equal to two, it will give you. It will give you three plus eight n by three plus four n. When j is equal to n, it will give you two n minus one plus eight n by two n minus one plus four n. This is the sum of the n terms like this. So watch out the the term two plus eight n by two plus four n and four plus eight n by four plus four n and a term before this is a two n minus two. Plus eight n by two n minus two plus four n. If we add all of them, all of them, and then to balance it, we subtract it. So the added ones are now written in red. Now the black ones are which are already there. The red ones are we have now just introduced, and uh, we have to balance it. To do so, we minus it. So the minus of the sum of the terms which we have included. So these these things. Now write this first first bracket as the sigma, the second as as the sigma notation, and that is equal to sigma j is equal to one to two n minus one. These are the two n minus one terms. Now these are two n minus one terms, and uh, now. J plus eight n by J plus four n, where J varies from one to two n minus one. This is the summation, and this red ones sigma J is equal to one to n minus one. These are n minus one in number, n minus one in number, and that will be two J plus eight n by two J plus four n. So this is in the sigma notation which we have written. Now therefore limit. n tends to infinity 1 by n sigma j is equal to 1 to n of the given given summation and that is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into the first summation sigma j is equal to 1 to 2n minus 1 j plus 8n by j plus 4n minus limit n tends to infinity 1 by n of the second one which is in the red that is sigma 1 by n sigma j is equal to 1 to n minus 1 2j plus 8n by 2j Plus four n. Now divide numerator and denominator by n. In this, in the blue one, in the red one, then we will get limit n tends to infinity sigma one by n. This will be this will be j by n 
plus 8 by j by n plus 4 minus limit n tends to infinity sigma j is equal to 1 to n minus 1, 1 by n into here 2 j by n plus 8 by 2 j by n plus 4. What are we trying to do? So, this we want to see it as a, a definite integral because it is the limit of an infinite sum. So, let us look at it, at it in the next slide. This is what so far what, what we have. Now, this is a, we want to write it as a definite integral which is the limit of an infinite sum and we have the formula limit n tends to infinity sigma r is equal to 1 to p n or p n minus 1 of 1 by n into f of r by n is integral 0 to p f of x dx. Then in that case what will be this integral? This integral will be 0 to 2 x plus 8 by x plus 4 dx. Now j by n takes x and 1 by n will be dx and uh, the lower limit is when j is 1, 1 by n as n tends to infinity it is 0. The upper limit 2n minus 1, 2n minus 1. So 2n minus 1 by n that is 2 minus 1 by n as n tends to infinity it is 2 and uh, in a similar manner it, it will be integral 0 to 1. So, the first one is integral 0 to 2 x plus 8 by x plus 4 dx minus integral 0 to 1 2 x plus 8 by 2 x plus 4 dx is equal to the first two integral as it is minus the second integral in the second integral we have cancelled uh, 2 both in the numerator and denominator. We got integral 0 to 1 x plus 4 by x plus 2 dx. Now divide. So x plus 8 by x plus 4 when divided we will get 1 plus 4 by x plus 4. Here you will get 1 plus 2 by x plus 2 dx and integrals are put as it is. Now integral of 1 is x 4 times. Integral of 1 by x plus 4 with respect to x is ln x plus 4. Similarly, here the integral of 1 is x plus 2 times ln of x plus 2 to be evaluated in the first integral from 0 to 2 and in the second integral it is to be evaluated between the limits 0 to 1. So, this is what we have from the first one to be evaluated from x is equal to 0 to 2 and this is the integral here minus and to be evaluated between the limits x is equal to 0 to 1. So, when evaluated for the upper limit it is 2, for the lower limit it is minus 0, 2 minus 0 is 2 only plus 4 times ln for the upper limit 2 plus 2 4, for the lower limit ln of 0 plus 4 that is 4, that is ln of 6 minus ln of 4 here, here for the upper limit 1, for the lower limit 0, it is 1 only, plus 2 times ln of, for the upper limit 1 plus 2, 3 minus, for the lower limit ln of 0 plus 2, that is 2, that is ln of 3 minus ln of 2, whole multiplied by 2. So, that will be this one. So, 2 into 4 ln of 4, 6 for the upper limit, for the lower limit ln of 4. And uh, for the upper limit ln of 3, for the lower limit ln of 2. So, 2 minus 1 plus 1, 4 ln of 6 minus ln of 4 is ln of 6 by 4, ln of a minus ln of b is ln of a by b, agree? And uh, minus 2 ln of 3 by 2. And this is same as 1 plus 4 ln of 6 by 4 when cancelled to both numerator and denominator we get ln of 3 by 2 minus 2 ln of 3 by 2 and uh, the final answer is 1 plus 2 times ln of 3 by 2. Let us look at our options and uh, our answer 1 plus 2 ln of 3 by 2 appears against option 3 therefore our answer is option 3. That is the discussion of the solution of the problem from the integral calculus 
and the problem is on the definite integral as the limit of an infinite sum. I hope that you have understood the solution of this problem and go on working out some more problems on these lines on definite integrals. I wish you all the best. Thank you.